going to be doing a video on the sin of drunkenness. I'm going to show you that the Bible clearly condemns heavy drinking and also the health hazards of heavy drinking as well. So first of all, here are some verses that condemn heavy drinking. Proverbs chapter 20 verse 1 says, Wine is a mocker, strong drink is raging, and whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 20 to 21. Be not among wine bibbers, among riotous eaters of flesh, for the drunkard and the glutton shall come to poverty, and drowsiness shall clothe a man with rags. Romans chapter 13, verse number 13. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18. And be not drunk with wine, there when excess but be filled with the Spirit. Now also, another thing about drunkenness is that it will get you out of fellowship with God. The kingdom of God is spiritual fellowship with God, according to Romans 14, 17. And drunkenness, Scripture tells us, will get you out of fellowship with God. It won't get you into the kingdom of God, which again, is spiritual fellowship with God. See Romans 14, 17. Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 and 21. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revilings, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 to 11, or 9, 9, 9 to 10, sorry. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves of mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. So, according to these verses, if you are in drunkenness, you get out of fellowship with God. You won't, you, you won't be in the kingdom of God, which again is spiritual fellowship with God, according to Romans 14, 17. So, you get out of fellowship with God by being drunk and by heavy drinking. Now, what about being sober? Well, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8, Be sober, be, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, is, a roaring, or is as a roaring lion, sorry, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. So, if you're not sober, if you're into heavy drinking, you can't be vigilant and watch out for the devil. You can't do that if you're not sober. Now, what about the health risks of heavy drinking? Well, Here's an article from webmd.com, Mental Health Addiction. I'll have a link in the description. This is the health risks of heavy drinking. Uh, liver damage. It says alcohol is a toxin, and it's your liver's job to flush it down your body, but your liver may not be able to keep, it, keep up. If you drink too much too fast, alcohol can kill liver cells. Also, it can cause heart disease. You may know about the dangers of blood clots and high levels of fats and cholesterol, not the best at reading on a computer, in your body. Alcohol makes both things more likely. Studies of heavy drinkers also show that they are more likely to have trouble pumping blood to their hearts and have, may have a higher chance of dying from heart disease. And also it can cause digestive problems. Booze is a caustic, and it can inflame stomach lining, causing heartburn and nausea. Over time, this can, this can give uculars and chronic inflammation, inflammation in your stomach, esophagus, and gut. It can also make it harder for your intestines to, 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 to digest important nutrients like B12 and thiamine. So, the Bible is very interesting because a lot of sins the Bible condemns always result in health problems. Like with heavy drinking, it always results in health problems. What is it, liver damage, heart disease, uh, digestive problems? So, you really ought to avoid heavy drinking, because first of all, it's a sin condemned in scripture, it will get you out of fellowship with God, and it leads to all kinds of health problems. And these are just some of the many examples they gave. They gave like 20 different, or like 10 different health problems that can cause, that are caused by heavy drinking. So I just wanted to get this video out there, because heavy drinking is very, very wicked, and it's, it's very unhealthy too. And it's clearly condemned in scripture, and it gets you out of fellowship with God. So don't do heavy drinking, stay away from that sin. So, don't be deceived, God bless you. Goodbye.